Hello, everyone. Everyone. No, um, hello. It's been a while. Um, and yeah, it's been a while. So, this is gonna be Knit Stories, which is a free game which you can download. I'll have a link in the description or something like that. Um, as you know, I've already posted a video. Uh, where I played through the tutorial, but that was just because I wanted to test some things. But uh, I'm gonna play it again for you. So yeah, you walk by pressing the left and right arrow. It's pretty simple, you know. And you can jump with S. It will say it here, yeah. And this time, oh, sorry. Um, there won't be any audio because. Um, I'm not recording with Fraps on this one since um, Fraps had very bad um, quality on this, so I'm using Hypercam now and it's better, but still. So here you just climb the wall, which is fairly simple, and then you press S to jump over. And here you can stand on these and press down and it will save pretty simple and uh, yeah here you can just jump further using uh, by holding down the S button and here's a double jump you know there's no explanation for that you just should probably know what it is already and here's a umbrella which you trigger trigger using the D button which is nice I like it a lot a la 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 I like it a lot and if you hold down Q you can see your items it's not a big deal really oh my god uh, don't go there it's unnecessary as you can see now we can see things that we couldn't see before and now we will grow red when an enemy approaches. Oh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it doesn't work on mechanical devices. And here we get a mirroring power up sort of that we can use to create a hologram of ourselves. And to get past this guy, you have to do that. And that's the end of the tutorial. Let's go on to play the main game okay the machine I guess or is it yeah the machine mm. yeah cool among nits and other creatures many stories about Juni are being told although the stories often make very little sense many of them often contradicting each other a small number of them are known to be partially true. This is one of those stories. Oh my god. This was once a very beautiful place, but it had suddenly changed into a desolate wasteland. One day, a postman delivered a letter to Juni. The little... The, the letter read as follows. Dear Juni, the place where I live used to be so beautiful, but it has suddenly become grey and lifeless. Has the same thing happened as yours? Inside the cave to the west of where I live, a big machine has been built. I think it was created to draw all life out of the world. Although I'd like to go inside and turn off the machine, a monster is blocking the cave. Perhaps you know a way to get past it. Please come meet me, Henna. This is what's happened next. Dun dun dun. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go left because it's Metroid. No, it's not, but. Oh! It is Metroid! Yeah, it's a running power up. Where's this? Mm, I'll play on easy just because I'll probably screw up when I, I'm playing this. So, um. Are just supposed to explore or something? Or 
Can you jump down here? No. You cannot. And look out for that guy, I guess. It really sucks that you can't hear the music, actually. It's really nice and peaceful. Oh, I can't climb on walls yet. I'll probably... I'll see if I can download the soundtrack or something and play it for you, because it's nice and you don't want me to be speaking there all the time, only hearing my voice and none of the beautiful music. What is this? Yeah, I see. Climbing walls thingy. Let's ah, climb the walls. And now we can access this area again. This feels a lot like Metroid, except you're playing as a little girl. Okay, you're playing as a girl in Metroid, but not a little one in a nightgown or whatever it's called. Mm. Okay, we're back here again. Did I miss something over here? Um, I think I did, I'm not sure. I can't believe I lose frame rate when I'm playing this game. On, because uh, this is not very heavy on your computer. If you know what I mean. Do you need to jump the double jump here? Yeah, you probably do. Then we have to backtrack again. Yay! Everyone loves backtracking. Yeah! Yeah! I hope. That the frame rate isn't as bad when you're watching this later, so. But it's not terrible, so don't worry about that. Mm. Alright, let's go right then, since that's a direction, and. Can you go in there? No. That would be kind of weird, actually. But. I really like the art style of this game so far, it's... oops. Well, let's go down here. Mm, okay, oh. Really, really, really nice music in this game, I have to say. Especially for an indie title. Okay. Um, indie titles have pretty great music, actually, but still. I think this was probably just... Oh. Oh my god. I think this was probably made by one guy or something, so... I think it's pretty impressive. So yeah. That was shitty. I'm glad I'm playing on easy. <laughs> no, but I don't even know, know what could change if I wasn't playing on easy. If I would I don't even know if there's any difference in normal mode because as far as I know everything kills you in one hit so far. So I uh, I'm not sure. I oh, know we're underwater. I didn't even notice that at first. What is this? Okay, so that isn't helpful at all. Is it double jump? No. Mmm, I have no idea. And now we're back here again. If you jump while climbing a wall, you will climb faster, it seems like. And it looks really weird, it's like she's passing out or something. Hmm.
Seriously, I'm gonna put the damn soundtrack in my iPod or something. I like this kind of music. And I like the complete opposite of this kind of music, so... Yeah. I'm not entirely gay. No. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> okay. What miss? It can't be too long, I guess, since it's a free game. Oh wow, the visuals were very confusing there. I didn't even know that there was a wall right there. Oh, whatever. Oops. Okay, so... Mm. It's actually... It feels like a combination of... Um, Metroid and V V V V V V well, actually, B -B 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 is kind of like Metroid a little bit, except that you don't find any power-ups or anything. And it seems like it's easier than Metroid to figure out where to go next. Because sometimes Metroid is really hard to know what the hell to do. It's just, yeah, you should shoot this block on the screen that looked like every other block. But that's also kind of the appeal. I like Metroid a lot, so... Don't think I'm dissing it. Oh, now I know what I found. I found the... Enemy making you glow thing. Not sure how help helpful it is though. But still. Oh. Okay. I just love the art direction, it's really pretty. Oh, damn. I'm gonna make a lot of these mistakes, aren't I? Um, I might cut ahead actually, till I'm back where I was. Okay, <clears throat> we are back. And we are not sure where to go, but seems like a game you can just play and figure out where to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Cool. Seems like every enemy has some sort of unique behavior. I, I like that. It's not just different looking enemies. It's some real stuff, man. Whoa. Damn. I think I got lucky there. I just fell through the enemies. Am I back to where I've been? I think I recognize this place. Yeah. Well. Shit. 